Okay. So this is X, Y, this is Z. Okay. So this 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 is uh this is our transformation. Now it is very obvious to say that the 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 a a y force are going up am i right right it's very very obvious right because it is resting on a, a set of uh, uh bearings okay so the reaction we have to maintain a vertical force going up to prevent the shaft from falling vertically down in the y direction however okay i repeat uh, however a and b right the reaction at point a and the reaction at point B is not so obvious. Okay, it's not so obvious, right? Is you, you, I'm, uh, I'm not sure whether is it going in or going out. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to help you identify it. Okay, so the, the thing that's concerned is the direction. Okay, the direction of. So I'll call this AZ and BZ. Okay, AZ, sorry. AZ and BZ. So now we are I'm gonna draw a view. If we if we are gonna look at the shaft from the plan view. Okay, we're gonna look at the shaft from the plan view. So this is now my transformation X and this is our Z. OK, so that's our X and our Z. So I'm just going to draw the shaft. OK, I'm just going to draw the shaft. So this is our plan view. I'm not going to draw the gears. I'm just going to draw the shaft. I, I say it again. So this is our point A, our point C, our point D, our uh, point E, and this is our point B. Okay. So we are we are going to so like what I've taught you guys before. Okay. Do not analyze anything that is the dot or a cross. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to draw all the forces in first. Okay. So so by looking at the plan, my point A has a dot because it's coming up uh, vertically upwards. B is coming up vertically upwards towards us. Okay. At point E, we have a force. Okay, we have a force going this way. So this is our uh, F E. Okay, so this is our F E is going down. All right, F E is going down. All right, so over here, this is our C Z, and then we have our D Z. Right. Okay. So we are looking at a plan view. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment at point A. Okay. I'm going to take a moment at point A. So I just circle where I'm going to take my moment. And if you take the moment at point A, right, the reaction at point B will be in this direction. Okay. So before I go any further, I would write this out like how I taught you guys before. To analyze 3D uh, structure is do not consider right. Do not consider the crosses and dots. Okay. Right. Do not consider crosses of uh, of the cross and the dots. Okay. So we realize that B Z is coming down that direction. Yes or no? Right. Can someone tell me why BZ cannot go upwards? Why this is not possible? Can someone briefly tell me why, please? Anyone? Because it has to balance the forces. Hey? Has to balance the yeah, balance yeah. of forces. Yeah, you yeah. can call it you can call it balance or another way to look at this. This entire structure is uh is uh is stationary, right? It cannot move. If you assume this direction, right, you, you, you hold a pin at point A. If you assume that direction, what will happen? The entire structure will what? 
will rotate. Am I right? Right? Uh, Mira, you're absolutely yeah. right. Later on, you can calculate. Okay, you can calculate. And if it's negative, you can flip it. You're absolutely right. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? But I'm the sort of person that if I'm not sure about the assumption, I have no confidence in my calculation. Okay, some of you are, but I'm not one of those. And I believe if there's one of those like me, there are a lot of me, uh, uh, you guys that are like me. Okay, so that's why it's not possible. So, so we know that CZ and DZ want to do a rotation this way. Yes or no? Right, they want to induce a rotation this way. So BZ has to counter. Okay, that is why BZ is in this direction. Okay. So likewise, the same. Now, if I'm going to take my moment at point B, right? When we take our moment at point B, everything will want to rotate in a clockwise direction, clockwise direction. So A has to generate an anti-clockwise direction. So over here, this is the direction of A, Y. Okay, are we clear? I want, I want you all to be like really, really comfortable with this. Okay, not like, not like uh, I'm guessing and I'm having doubt. Okay, I would I don't want you all to I don't want you all to have, have that have that mindset, okay? Could that be A Z, Eugene? Oh yeah, you are right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. More beer for you. Okay, so that is our A Z. Okay. So now we can calculate our uh A Z and B Z. Okay, let's 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 do it uh, at the same time. So this is uh, rotation about y. Okay, so so just let's let's do that now. Okay, so we are going to do uh, static analysis. So CZ, our CZ. Uh, let me see what is our CZ value. So our CZ value we calculated is equal to six six three two. Okay, so CZ is six six three two Newton, and our DZ is 2487 okay our dz is 2487 okay our cz is 6632 and our dz is 2487 okay so again when you calculate az and bz just consider cz and dz okay you don't you don't you don't need to consider any other forces so the the, the other forces you have is you have forces at point a you have forces at point e you have forces at point b do not consider them, okay? As I said, only consider the, the arrows, not the dots and cross, okay? So this is critical. Because why you tell me, Eugene, why don't we uh, consider it? Because they are, they are acting on a different plane, okay? So you know they consider for that reason, okay? So I'm going to take, so given the figure, uh, this figure is not really good. I need to get the, the other small figure to look at the distances. Okay, so I need the distance from here. And fortunately, the distance are pretty straightforward, right? So we're going to do, we're going to do summation of moment in the y direction. Okay, and we're going to do the uh, moment at point A this is equal to zero. Okay, so CZ is going to do a anti uh, clockwise. Let, let me get rid of all these arrow. Is is confusing me like crazy now. Okay, so this is six six three two. It's going anti clockwise. So six six three two multiplied by zero point two plus by two four eight seven. Multiply by 0 0.4, right? So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, yep. And then uh, plus, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, minus uh, BZ, okay, minus by uh, BZ, multiply by 0 0.8. The whole thing will be equal to zero, okay? So from there, 6632, 2487.4, BZ. So BZ, okay, so we have BZ is equal to 2902. Actually, it's 2901 
0.5 Newton. Okay, that's coming down. Okay, so if 0 0.5 Newton is really, really small. Okay, so you can round it up to 29. 0 to Newton. Okay, but if you leave it at 2901.5, I'm also fine with it. Okay, so the next thing we do is we'll do some mention about forces. So now watch, I want I want you to watch this, okay? I'm going to say positive is down, right? Some mention about forces in the Z direction is equal to zero, right? Now, some of you are like, hey, why now up and down already? What is going on, right? I'm confused like crazy again, right? So why I choose that? Because the Z positive on our transformation is coming down. Only for that reason, nothing else, okay? So that's why the transformation is so critical at this end now. So from here, very simple, okay? You do some mention. So going down is positive, so VZ or AZ. Minus by uh, 6632, minus by 2487, okay? Then plus by 2902, the whole thing will be equal to zero. So AZ over here will be equal to, uh, AZ will be equal to 6217. And it's positive, it's coming down. So let me check again, 6632, plus a 2487 minus 2902. 624. Okay, so we have our forces in the uh, Z direction already. Okay. Okay, so the next thing is we need to identify, I'm going to put in this diagram, we need to find what is our AY and what is our BY. Okay, we don't know what they are. So I want you to look at the similarities of what we are going to do. Okay, I want you to focus on the similarities of what we're going to do. So now we're going to find the direction or the forces. Of uh, AY and BY. Or the forces at, or the forces, we're going to find the forces at AY and BY. Okay. So we're going to look at the forces. So now we're going to view the structure in a different direction again. So this is our X, this is our Y, and then this is our rotation of our Z. Okay, so this is our front view. Okay, we're going to look at the front view of the shaft now. Right, so we know that this is our AY. This is our BY, which is what we're going to find, right? And then this is our point C, point D, and point E. So we know that at point C, we have a force going into the page or into your screen, okay? And likewise, we have a D, again, going to the screen, right? So those are your CZ and DZ, okay? I'll write down here CZ, DZ, all right? And then we have our AX coming towards us, which is a dot, okay? AZ, and then we have another dot coming towards us, which is our BZ, okay, which is our BZ. Then we have a force. At point E, we have a force going down, Right, we have a force going down at point E, and we calculated it to be 3730 Newton. Okay, so again, same thing is this. Okay, so we, we again have the same concept. Do not consider. Okay, do not consider the dots and the cross. And guess what? At least from this analysis that I, I realized that this is adaptable like what I taught you guys uh, before the term test, remember, right? Do not consider the dots and the cross. Dot. I think while doing this problem, I, I developed that concept, okay? If dot and cross, uh, don't, don't need to consider it, okay? Just a bit of uh, history, right? So now, again, real straightforward now, okay? We are going to say that 
we're going to apply uh, static analysis. Okay, so we are do, going to do some mention about moment in the Z direction at point A is equal to zero. Okay, so everything is zero, only the forces. Okay, so at, so now we are, we are taking moment over here. We are taking the moment over here. So we have uh, going clockwise, so it's minus uh, 3730, right? Multiply by 0 0.6. Then we have plus, okay, 24680, uh, dz. Multiply by 0 0.8, the whole thing will be equal to zero. So therefore, bz will be equal to 3730, Okay, so 3730, 3730 multiplied by 0.6, 2238, divide by 0.8. Is that dy? Oh yeah, you are right. This is the second time you caught me. Where are you now? It's me. Yeah, Adam, I still owe you money together with Maryam, okay? <laughs> yeah, you guys will say, yeah. Okay, so 2238. Divide by 0.8 is equal to 27, uh, 2797.5. And, and Adam just bring out a very important point, okay? If you get all these wrong, later on your forces are, are, are down the toilet bowl, okay? 2798 meter, okay? Still got a BZ there, I think. Okay. You have... BZ in the final. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it should be BY. Okay, it should be BY, not BZ. Okay. So now, the next thing we do, again, we want to find AY. So again, some mention about forces, really straightforward. So why I assume it upwards to be positive? Because I'm following the what? We are following the transformation. So AY. Minus by three seven three zero uh, plus by two seven nine uh, two seven nine eight equal to zero. So a y right is equal to three seven three zero minus two seven nine eight is equal to nine three two. Okay, it's equal to nine hundred and thirty two newton. So once we have all this, okay, once we have all this, it is this is where we need to find our moment okay and finding the moment it's not difficult at all but you have to get really really well organized right with your information i repeat again it's not difficult to find at all it's finding the the information okay how how you how you gather the information that's critical okay uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop here this lecture will i will post like one hour videos on avenue to learn okay an hour plus to finish your question okay i'm going to stop here because now it's 10 minutes past three okay how did you guys find term test two great anyone please hello really good really good uh, uh, they, April, April Fools. April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy. It's really good. Okay. So I have, I'll tell you what I've done. Okay. I've triggered a remarking from the TA. And during this remark, I hear uh, a big shock. I hear, I, 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 I hear, I, I hear students saying that they don't know how the grades, grades are uh, awarded okay so i told them to uh mark writing how much marks were taken off from here and how much marks were taken from there okay so that is water under the bridge okay but before i go on i like to uh, apologize of a message i put up saying that hey if you fail term test one and term test two you should retake the course uh yeah i wrote that because i i was so disheartened okay that's the reason 
but there's no excuse for it. So for that, I'd like to apologize to all of you. Okay, I should not have uh, written that. I'm just happy I'm past you cheeky. So, okay. So I think more important is what I'm going to tell you next. Okay, I know you guys are really really stressed. I know that. Okay, uh, you you guys were very patient with me when 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 the beginning of the month where well, look Joshua is going to be possible our grades to go down from the original no I don't allow that man Joshua if your marks go down after the remark I got issue man okay so I got the original grade don't worry Joshua okay it I I, I told the TAs like not to reduce marks okay I told them to like okay be consistent okay where you take off marks I want to know also okay so that's where that's what you're doing so Joshua and all of you do not worry. Do not. Oh, marks will be deducted. That is the last thing I want to do to you, to you guys. Okay. When the, the remark, the remark will come out hopefully after Easter Monday. Hopefully, okay. So, so that is that is my hope. Okay. So I want you to like, don't don't panic or whatsoever. Okay. For now, okay. So because the information that I'm going to talk to you about that is really really important. Okay. So. Let's see where are we now. Test one. Okay. So test one, we got about 102 students fail. And then I got about what? Five students that got 100, which is annoying me. Okay. They, I, I think they deserve it. They work really hard. Okay. So when we went to test two, uh, I, I promised to drop to uh, two questions, which I, which I did. Am I right? And I also promised to reduce the number of variables, right, in the question. Do you all see that, yes or no? I hope you all did, OK. Then uh, two questions, uh, three out, not three out, two and a half hours, 45 minutes for scanning. Everything is the same, uh, but this still happens you know uh i was shocked and and i was mad i was mad and i i i spoke to some of you until about one o'clock in the morning you know some of you are still awake okay so i was so what i did is i i trigger remark of question one and two show where not show where show where the marks are deducted and i was also shocked that some uh that that some of you okay no particular name say that they don't know how the term test was marked and the question asked was there any marks given for steps definitely yes marks were given from steps okay and and those of you that attend my class have seen how marks were, were awarded by steps. Later on, I will show it again. Okay. So how so uh, I heard from the associate dean office in the undergraduate that quite a number of you are going to drop the course. Okay. And I had a long meeting with. Do you all know who uh, Mar Marilyn Lightstone is? Anyone? Do you all know who she is? Anyone? No answer at all. Hey, are you all there? Yeah, I know of her. <laughs> okay, so so she's the chair, and I also have uh, met with uh, Dr. Quinville. Okay, Dr. Quinville was also there. Okay. So uh, what's next? OK. So I was thinking that uh, reduce the passing grade. OK, so option number one, I'll tell you what is my option. Option. Number one. Is to reduce. The passing grade. So. Reduce to how many? I don't know. I I I I can't I can't give you the 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 how many will be reduced. Okay. So what do I mean by reduce the passing grade? So I'll look at the final exam. Everything add in. 
So I'll move the I'll move the failing grade or I'll move the passing grade until like 20 students fail only. Then okay, this is the passing grade. The rest of you go. The rest of you unfortunately have to take the course again. Okay. So what do you think about that idea? Anyone? Now it's your time. Now it's your turn. Someone speak. Sorry, um, Professor, can I just get a clarification? Is that so that 20% of the people fail or 20 students? 20 students out of 160. Okay, so it's not percent. No, no, oh no, oh God, God forbid. Uh, so, so does that mean like the grades for, the thresholds for all the other grades will come down as well? Like A is gonna come down a bit and like B comes down a bit as well? Does Say it mean again? that? Like, does, the, does this option means that uh, the threshold for the grades will come down? Like, for example, A is going to come down a bit. No, like... no. Those students got A's. What I'm, those students got A's, I don't touch them. Those students got B, A is B. Those students is C, no moving. Those students are D, I can't move them. So is a. there a chance like if someone got a B, he might get an A because the threshold came down? Is that a No, chance? there's no moving of press. This is option number one, okay? So okay. those students that got between... Uh, arbitrary number, right? 40 to 49 will get a D minus. That's it. Nothing move. Hello? Oh, okay, I get that, sir. Thank you. Right, right. Nothing move. So uh, I know it's online learning and it's not easy, okay? And it's not only this course is having issue, okay? Uh, yeah, we. I'm not the only prof that was attending this meeting, okay? There are two other profs that that also have the same issue, okay? And it's not me alone, right? So what do you think about that? Anyone? No. Better than not. Hey. Better to have that than nothing. Better have that than, than nothing. I know when the grades, uh, Joshua, you want to say something, Joshua Mota. Oh yeah, uh, I just wanted to say, I. Guess it depends on what option number two is. <laughs> Joshua, I'm going to miss you. Okay, Joshua is is. Uh, let me tell you a bit of Joshua. Okay, I like Joshua a lot because I've known Joshua for a while now, and he's amazing. He he he. Yeah, he's a thinking engineer. I like that. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Joshua, I'm going to miss you. I'm I'm very sure about this. So. Uh, Jesse, can we take a vote at the end between option by raising hands? Uh, Jesse, I will tell you this, okay? When I tell you option number two, there's no need to vote. <laughs> okay, and and your stress, I want, I want, you know what? I want you to have a good, good Friday, a good Easter, and I want you to like uh, enjoy this course. I know you guys were very shocked, okay? In 3 CO3, I'm a I'm an I'm I'm an angel, right? In 3A, I'm 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 still recording, I don't really care. I'm an asshole. I know that. Okay. Some of you are like, yeah, he is. Can people agree? Just put up your hand. <laughs> okay. Right? So uh I still want you to to do well. Okay. And I know just shifting the uh, passing grade to a, to a pass or a D minus, you don't want that. You want another opportunity. Am I right or wrong? Yes or no? Come on. No one talking again. <laughs> right? So this, this, this is my... Okay, let me tell you what I feel that is going on, okay? I think, uh, first of all, the TA, when they mark, Sometimes it can be really harsh. I can see that. Okay, I've I've seen that, and I've 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 spoken to some of you before. I have just agreed to with some of you before. They are not going anywhere with the TA, but unfortunately, I was also told by some of you. Okay, I'm not sure how the marking scheme works, <laughs> and I'm going to show that today. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how the marking scheme works. Okay, I have 102 students today. Do I have more students today, or or no? Uh, if, if, if I have more students today, it's going to be, if not, I will, today I have 100, 112, it's, it's amazing, Last, usually I only get 74, 
Okay. Uh, Eugene. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the students they're asking about the uh, the part marks and like yeah yeah I know I'm going, I'm, I'm going to show how the part mark works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ash, Ash is the guy that I spoke to. Like Ash, we had a, a night chat to one in the morning. Am I right, Ash? Yeah, close to that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now, how does this work? Okay. So I'll I'll give you the the next option. Okay. The next option go go like this. Okay. Just I say. Oh, okay. Let me identify where the problem is. Uh, you are not sure is part mark is given. Part mark is definitely given. Okay. And I I feel that maybe. I think a big one is time. Okay. Term test one, we had three questions and time was so tight, you are stressed. And I can see that some of you question number three, just leave it blank. Test two, no doubt there's only two uh two question, but it's quite tedious. In what sense? You guys were asked to find second moment of area so many times until you got pissed off. Okay. Unfortunately, that has to happen is because student numbers are the, the, the constant are changing with student number and it affects the second moment of area. I cannot just say I X X is good this amount, I Y Y is good to that amount. Have fun. I'm not given the opportunity. That's why online testing is tough for this reason. Okay. So option number three goes like you all want to see how part mark is awarded, or you'll rather see option number three. Which one? Which one you want to see or option number two? Which one do you have in mind? Um, I was thinking actually that we just if you if you already have option two in mind, if you could just run through that slowly, we can talk about the marking scheme of the part marks okay. afterwards. Okay. Because I know that uh, myself and a lot of my colleagues have um feedback that we want to just talk about that. I feel like that discussion should wait until we actually just talk about all the options first. Okay. So this is uh, option number two. I did a simulation, like all engineers we simulate. So after my simulation, okay, this is a great distribution that you will get. Now, doing things like that, I have to be really, really careful. What do I mean careful? I have to be considerate to people over here. Okay, I have to be really, really considerate to people over here because they really put in a lot of effort. I'm not saying that you are not putting your effort, but they are putting a lot of effort and all of you are putting a lot of effort. I'm giving your benefit of a doubt. All of you are putting a lot of benefit, but the outcome is not the same. I, I can accept that. OK, so I have to protect those of you that are between B plus to A plus. Protect in what sense? Protect in the sense that you guys know your information really well. OK, you guys really start study hard throughout the term. No dispute about it. But I also have to think about. Those that were 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 here, okay? those that were here. OK, I have to think students that were here that I want to spread this out to be in this in this in this bracket, a B minus or if you can cover to a B, that's even a blessing. OK. But I cannot ignore term test one and term test two. I cannot say, okay, guys, you know what? Term test one, term test two, down the toilet and boom, let's start everything af 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 afresh. So it's like penalize. When I do that, it's like penalizing people that are working hard and 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 giving everything start from zero. So, okay, let's start from ground zero. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so this is my uh. This is my uh, simulated uh, results and it's subjected to bell curve. That is subjected. So as I said, I know time is tight, so I decide to do something different. OK, your final exam will be April 23rd. You got from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To, 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 to write. I repeat again. You have 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to write anywhere around the world. OK, if you are somewhere, you're not in Canada, you are in Saudi Arabia, Korea, Hong Kong. I know I have students from Japan. OK, 8 to 5, your time. OK, non proctor, you do whatever you want. All I want you to do is to make me proud to pass. 
and to have a grade, a nice grade that is good for you. OK, so you decide. OK, I'm not going to proctor. OK, I'm going, I'm going to trust you explicitly. OK, if you are going to discuss, I'm fine with that. OK, if you are going to talk about what, what numbers you get, I'm absolutely fine with that. I just want you to learn and to do well. OK, I don't want, I don't want people end up with D minus. That is my last intention I have in my mind. OK, and there will be only two questions. OK, there will be only two questions. OK, one will be on shaft design and the other one is 2D and 3D mold circuit. That's it. OK, no more, no less. So focus on after your term test to those two topics. OK. Now, this is simulated and is subjected to bell curve. I repeat again, it's subjected to bell curving. Okay, because why I have to say subject to bell curving? Because I don't know how you will pan out. Okay, so the worst that could happen is this again. Okay, if this happened again, uh, I might need to take the best of two out of three. I don't know yet. OK, I might need to take the best of two. But the benefit from here is time. So you have more time to think, less time to make mistakes. OK, those of you that do well, OK, in term test one and two, right? So what was, can someone remind me of the weightage? What was the weightage, please? Can someone remind me? It was 10, 30, 50. Right, so it's 10, 30, 50. 